So last time we recorded our gameplay into a cinematic and this is the playback of that cinematic that you see here. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how to render this cinematic into a sequence but along with the UI. Usually by default you don't really get the you don't get the UI rendered into the movie. So I'm going to show it's a very simple thing. So if you want to render it with the UI, first first thing is you have to make sure that you are rendering with the movie render queue. Make sure this is enabled. I have already enabled it. And then after enabling it, you can find the movie render queue window under cinematics, window cinematic. And here select the movie that you want to render. So for me, it's this sequence 101. And now, if you go to here, if you want to render UI elements as well, make sure that you have, you add this UI renderer and accept it. Okay, now all you have to do is just press render and it will render along with your UI elements. Now if I go to the folder in it here you see now you see in the uh, in the rendered image you can see the UI component as well. And if I move further you see the building A1 A2 those things are also there in the rendered image. So this is good when you want to show an exact preview of how your application behaves in runtime along with everything that means including the UI as well. So yeah, hope this is helpful. By the way, this system that you see here in this tutorial is this. I have shown everything how did I implemented this system from scratch. You can watch them in this tutorial series. I'll leave the link in the description below and you can access the project files of this system from my Patreon page. So thanks again. See you in another episode. Goodbye.